tell me about your week, Wooly, from Wooly Versus. Well, uh, first things first. Promised Consort Radon. So. <laughs> so, like, all jokes aside, I probably did that, that, that shit post of like congrats beating him now he was harder before um even now it's it's definitely the farthest they've ever pushed it it's crazy it's crazy like we've been saying that so okay i think the first like there's a moment when these tough super challenges like the moment it tipped over from like oh my god that's a lot and wow i can't believe how hard it is into okay wait what the is from soft thinking i think the orphan of cost was that moment the orphan orphan was was orphan was the line where everyone was like you may have gone too far Act, in a few like yeah like actually guys what are we doing right and yeah and like there is i i have personally retconned a head cannon for orphan of cause that makes me appreciate him more which is i've always like what is the deal with orphan why is orphan so bad and it's because Orphan ign Orphan does not have a secret stamina bar like every other boss has. There's that. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, that's interesting that this specific enemy does not follow the correct rules of the world he is placed in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is appropriate for his character. I would also say that the, the, the animations are not like logical <laughs> you know no. like you can't follow them the way you follow a big guy with a sword or you yeah. know even like okay stuff like blood starved beast and like and so or early on kind of fucked you up by like trying to predict the animations but the thing itself makes no sense you know mm. and orphan is absolutely a non-intuitive thing in the way it flails at you so that too is like fucking you up now let's move on to promised consort radon who is a very normal character to fight. Mm -hmm. They have, they're, they're the correct size for a FromSoft antagonist. They have swords. They have some, some spells. Like they Co are the one-on-one -on -one Virgil kind of thing that mm -hmm. we talk about. Mm -hmm. um, and then you hit phase two. And then you start fighting a bleach character. Like just so every every conceivable like they, it, the the joke about elden ring characters holding up their swings for too long to yeah. catch your roles yeah 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 is now embellished in a character sorry embodied in a character that will just have phantoms attack you five times in a row as part of their slash with the, with the fake outs and then there, there's that and then there's the part where almost like um how you know like fume might fume night not fume night um um god the the first like fire knights there in in, in with the fire gut that like you can't stand close to them or you're taking fire damage in, in ds2 mm -hmm. oh smelter uh, smelters right the smelter and the delta demons well we're <laughs> not smelter and skelter or helter no, smelter and delta helter smelter all right well anyways so the, the the idea here now is not only should you be avoiding the um the swing in the correct direction but you cannot be anywhere inside of the attack box <laughs> of the attack because after it's done the fucking flashbangs go off you know so i have to ask did you go back and look at what the visuals on those attacks look like a couple months ago no they they are you should go you should go check it out the the beams that would come off his regular strikes and the gigantic aoe and the um those those lights had their intensity decreased yeah. about like 300 percent. i heard i heard they were blinded and, yeah uh the one that was really outrageous is that when he, he would do the the teleporting like flash enemy yeah, version the, like the the phantom attacks yeah those things would also fire off lights oh my when they God. did it yeah okay um all the that's the thing right this attacking you visually just like with blindness is just insane because that still happens apparently it was worse too on his one um blood flame attack right yeah that little bit of moog that he does like that slash explodes and it lingers in the air so long that the next thing he does is obfuscated you know there was a there was one of his um 
like I think it was cross attack. Okay, yeah, the double. Even if you blocked it perfectly in his old version, there was nothing that had time to swing on him before he hit you with another. Thing. Like just all <laughs> sorts of things Man. that were were unfinished. Oh. Um, and like and it. And you know there was how, an interview with Miyazaki. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, after you. Oh no, I was just I was gonna say a lot of those attacks. You're you you go like okay, well, Old Faithful says what? Step one is pick a cardinal direction and see if you can roll in that that direction. And some of those directions end up just being the wrong guess every single time. Um, and then it's like and then after that, pick another direction to roll in to avoid the light. And there's a couple of the attacks where I'm kind of like. I have not found the solution, so the answer will be kill him before he does this thing too many times, because it's just yeah. going to be a free sip trade. There was um, an interview with Miyazaki in which he says that the final boss of Shadow of the Erd Tree is about as far as they can push the game's difficulty with the system they have created. And interesting, I am in large agreement that that is as far as the lock on and r1 r2 dodge roll system mm -hmm, can mm -hmm, manage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is he is out of control yeah i mean there's there like when you have sequences of eight swings and each swing has an after effect so it's ultimately 16 attacks in a row um and your room to to, to get your one attack in is like you get one and then he's immediately into another sequence <laughs> you know, it's like, what is the DPS race here? There is no DPS race. You just get one. Um, and then you take in the factor as well, where it's like, all right, so what about doing the plot, right? You can call in um, Sir Ansbach and Theolier. That's a trap. And Theolier is so useless that he that, dies so... and he makes the life bar go up and he doesn't do enough damage or pull focus long enough to be worth it. <laughs> so the way that I pulled it out was I was using I was using the biggest sword I could get my hand on. Yeah. The crag blade, that giant like triangle rock blade from one of the the the, the forges. Okay. And I was using the um the I forget its name. The the blocking tier, the the perfect parry tier. Oh, the yes. Sekiro so, um, tier. Yeah, yeah, um the hard tier or so. Yes, yes, yeah. The... Right. So I was using that mm -hmm. and I got I got really, really, really good at that first phase because if you if you can perfect parry yep. deflecting hard tier, if you can do the deflecting hard tier on his regular swings, yeah. At the end of his sequence, you get a counter attack, and if your weapon's really big, it does like a pretty good amount of damage. Yes, I actually same. So uh, phase one, I have pretty far. I have pretty down pat as well. Um, honestly. Like, what I did was I just turned this into the Moog boss fight for me, right? It, it, mm -hmm. I got the exact same vibe out of it where it's like, okay. How appropriate. Exactly. Like, phase one is just I know your I know your pattern. I know your moves. I know everything. And I can do this cleanly. The only thing that's going to get me every once in a while is that one roll catch combo where the timing yeah. is just off, where it starts up a little too fast, and then the second swing lingers a little too long, you know? And it kind of, like, the first hit lets you panic long enough to eat the second. Um, but otherwise, yeah, phase one, absolutely clean, you know. Um, and so I got to this place where it's like, so I'm in a phase two and I'm just like, oh my, oh my God, like, oh, holy fucking shit. And, um, throwing down a summon increases his health by like fucking 25%. I don't, it seems like he is more affected than it than anybody else. It's crazy. It is super crazy how much life he gets each for the summon. Um, so my plan was, and the way that I managed it is i played the whole first phase by myself and then once phase two phase two started to go crazy i would pull out mimic tier only okay okay because i i needed to get through the first phase as fast as possible okay and, and do as much damage to phase two before I increased his health because it increases by a percentage. Yeah, mimic tier adds just like all the rest do, right? Um, does mm -hmm. does that if you call in the sisters, do they get two for one? No, they count as one. Okay, so yeah, twenty. Okay, but like I on my first couple of tries, I pulled in everybody all at once, and I was looking at a boss with a hundred and sixty. Oh, it doesn't. Mimic doesn't add anything. Oh. Ooh. 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 Well, good then. Well, interesting. Well, I Mimic I... never lasts to phase two if you summon him in phase one. Okay. Uh... 
mine yeah no mine would mine died the, the um yeah. but like what was so and then like you throw i threw a little scarlet rot pot on my in my pockets you know what i mean put a little fucking um anti-holy blessing and all that shit mm -hmm. um switching my build up to be uh, a spell caster and a faith um incantation caster as well was interesting because like now i'm getting golden vow and um the uh lord's like holy resistance in there holy resistance is big um but all of this and then again phase one you know footwork sliding and, and punching but imagine in any of those key moments where you get to the end of his combo and you can get your swing in I throw my fucking fists out and you punch the gap between his legs because big dumb humans always get whiffed on by yeah. punches. It sucks. It fucking sucks that that happens so constantly and fist Use weapons. Use the biggest weapon again ever. That's oh the my solution. God, man. Use the biggest weapon. Fists are finally good. They're finally really, really good in this game. And, and anytime a big boss with dumb legs just fucking just you just you waft ball whiff at sir on's box face that's all you do <laughs> you know man it bums me out so but i did it anyway because i wanted to you know i needed to return to the old me so i put the fucking the the the, the spike balls back on um and yeah i mean it so was I, I ran through a sequence in which uh i i was had uh phase one down mm -hmm. and it was down yep and phase two was annihilating me to bits yep. and so i was like all right wh what can i change what 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 do i have that i and i started like what of this what of that what of this what of that what of this how quickly do you get there because over the years in these games right and here's the thing um i give you taught me about there's a moment in the fight where you go stop i am not properly equipped i need to actually mm -hmm. i don't just slam your head against this there's a point where you need to assess what you're actually walking in yeah. with right because skill can carry like, you the whole way through and then hubris will gas you the fuck up but i th i think i was about i was think i was at the part where i was i was like getting 80 percent through phase one maybe an hour like consistently but i wasn't able to clutch out phase one super reliably and i was like my attempts are getting weaker not better right so let's see what i got uh i went to go get the fingerprint shield uh and that helps but i was low on damage and i went for this and that and this and that and this and that and after swapping out a bunch of different weapon types doing redoing my stats etc i came to the conclusion that after like an hour of of trying out different shit that the thing that was working the best was the thing i fucking started with and so i went back to what i was doing which was using the biggest sword i have and deflecting heart shield okay uh, deflecting heart tier okay because i was gonna say that like i've heard that it turns out that of after years and years of from soft boss fights and like skill rolling and all that shit we are now at a point where one of the most effective things that apparently you do is just sword and poke, uh, shield and poke rather. Just stand there, block everything with. Um... That was that was the 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 fingerprint shield was the the one build that went in there. People with the biggest shield in the game, Gustav, and we're right? like, yeah, he was pretty tough. Wasn't too bad though, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they they just block all his shit. You get you get that Havel shield right before, you know the fight starts right. Like you literally in the you because you do um fucking Michaelomania, mm -hmm. you know in the room before, and then you get the full set, and you're like okay, so you can just stand there and block it, which you know after years of uh, fucking shield slander, <laughs> it's it's hilarious that that's the case, but yeah no in 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 and it, so for me what it was the same thing you're like you get into phase two and you're like oh i'm not even close to having these dodge patterns then because of the lights and some of the mm, attacks the lights are so bad so um it became about yeah master phase one and then two is just like put as much holy resistance on as possible fucking throw a pot <laughs> you know do what you can and in these moments where um like 
he lands a command grab on someone else or something, fucking cast like as many spells as possible and then just get in and do what you can, you know? Um, so I had, I think, um, th 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 every time there was one of these fights, so to speak, there would always be that like, okay, this is, this is going to be rough for streaming. Probably need to figure out how to do this off stream and then can compile the best attempts and show people. So that's what, that was Moog and that was, mm -hmm. um, M millennia. Right. Uh, and this time around, it was like, okay, well, because there were this, because I'm trying to hit, get this done before the fucking weekend, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do stream the whole thing. And it was two hours and then five hours of attempts. Yeah. So you ran into the exact thing I described. Whereas if you get there at the middle to end point, there's no shot. There's like yeah. it's just it's too much and and walking in so the other part that i i learned after the fact was that i walked in with 16 um shadow fragments instead mm -hmm. of 20. so so I, I did it with 19. um once you once you get over like 12 the percentile increases are like way less oh they don't stay consistently like... no 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 i can look it up but it's it's a very very like bell curvy okay um interesting uh scaling um yeah it is also interesting that like you know the actual setup is one where uh, for anything to happen, you got to get command grabbed twice, which I didn't end up doing. But I I read about it after the fact, you know, mm -hmm. that it's like okay, you just eat a really slow avoidable command grab, and um, it, let's see, what do you see here? Scooby snack. Yeah, I sent you the scaling. I sent you the, the 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 math on it. Okay, and you could see that around twelve or thirteen, there's like a a break. Uh, and then it slow down really a lot because I guess they planned it to like well not everyone's gonna find uh, okay yeah, all yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. twenty so that's hard around it okay um but yeah so so that was kind of so in the end it was like you know what Ansback does his job and if he's doing well enough he can even help get that crumple in um Theolier is not worth the fucking twenty percent no Theolier kind of sucks shit yep and. Uh, I would also say that like I did an I did a bunch of solo attempts too, and I could see the pathway there. It would take a, it would take you know a good bit longer, but I definitely feel like I could have pulled that off as well. It would just have been an obnoxious amount of streaming time, <laughs> I think, to do so. Um, but I felt it, you know. In the end, um, it it was like yeah, it was one of those like okay, so we always talk about fighting a god in their prime at their peak all right here you go <laughs> so here's the one um i was thrilled i was absolutely thrilled because before the dlc came out i said that that's who i want for the final boss okay okay and i and like so the whole time i was pointing at an orlando in the stands it, going like that's what i want in his prime I, because the base game goes way out of its way in every description to go man before radon got <laughs> sick he was easily the strongest of all the demigods mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see what fucking yeah like and like yeah no it's like you always fight somebody who's run down or tired or broken or dead or you know whatever and now it's like bigger better stronger than uncut. ever and and with an assist with an assist and here's the other bit as someone who really like i said my my fucking heart went into that moog fight that like I left that going. All right, I fucking love that boss. That was my favorite experience with the game. Even that getting a little bit of recognition here, where it's like that's the husk that's being piloted, and as a result, there's that one little blood flame attack, you know. And the rhythm and pace of things are going uh, are very reminiscent of that fight. It's like what a fucking what a fun way to end that. Um, it is it is a bit certainly like once it's done. You do get that cutscene, and then you're like, "Well, 
I don't know why I thought there would be more answers because I do feel that I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this is a FromSoft, right? You're going to get your little bits here and there. But what you do mm -hmm. get is interesting enough that it recontextualizes and gives you just enough about all of the major players um, mm -hmm. that I felt satisfied by that. You know, the journey was definitely like it added it added enough lore, um, especially with that village. Mm -hmm. um it added enough lore that like you go into that you i imagine the the pacing of then leaving the shadow realm and going into that final fight being like oh you fucking hypocrite <laughs> you, <laughs> you know you are both complete stupid pieces yeah, of shit yeah 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 it's quite interesting you know your entire order is built on nonsense, lies, hypocrisy, and aliens. And here's the thing, right? If you're looking at it from the McKella point of view, you're like, you're this naive child that never grew up, but your mind never grew up either. You're still child in in, in your your logic. And you're you're actually doing the anime thing of like holding on to childhood promises and treating them as real, you know, no matter what or how much no, no matter what um um radon has to say about the matter after the fact you're like nah though but but remember we gotta we, I, I, we gotta do it my we gotta do it my way and he's looking obviously at marika and everything that she's that she's set up and going like yeah that's terrible we gotta replace this but like um his thing is like and then everyone will be happy because we just take away free will and you just you have to love me and because everyone's never done anything it's but love me compassion. it's it's all compassion and it's like you mean compassion that thing that you fucking discarded on the ground back there think, where we saw it we saw your compassion on the ground mickey <laughs> i know? think there's a lot of like amazing things going on with the failure of the villain's ideals because like I'm going to make a perfect world. Yep. I'm going to do it, you yep. guys. And it's like the instant you weren't forcibly controlling every single one of your followers, they all engaged in a fucking WrestleMania battle to the <laughs> oh, death. Oh, yeah, brother. It was like, it was like literally <laughs> in context like a week later. <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't kill each other fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Um no, that's incredible. And I also like the idea, too, that um, he was super like and he was he's not wrong for looking at the Golden Order and what is there and hating it. Right. And it he sucked and it didn't work. And also he fucking hates Outer Gods. Right. The unalloyed needle, the thing that's like, get these fucking gods out of here. Get their influence out of here. Sister. My sister's all gross with super AIDS because of, of the outer gods. All of it, and right? And my brother, Mo, he's all fucked up because of the blood stuff. And he's weeping for Godwin and like all these things. He absolutely hates the fact that the outer gods and are just coming in and playing and influencing with everybody. Fucking Marika herself getting Bad. with the greater will is also subject to that. So like he properly does hate that. But like the the replacement, of course, is we're going to build our own god with blackjack and hookers and an unbreakable infinite charm that everyone will be forced to love me. And then it'll be the green ending and mass effect everyone can also, fucking we all like, get the pass <laughs> to know? go on from like you know the moog lester has been has beaten the allegations moog like, head the 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 mick lester is out here <laughs> mick lesting the, all over the, all of his brothers <laughs> the, the, the mickler <laughs> like stop it yeah, it's just not great, not great. Like, and, Re like Radon is an unwilling participant in that fight. So that's the bit is like we don't get enough about his say in the matter. We only hear Michaela's side. One, but here's what you have context clues of, right? Um, Millennia, who was in on the plan, was sent to go fight him, and then whisper in his ear, "Yo, don't forget about my bro." <laughs> you know come on and then like it, and then poison i gotta kill you as part of the plan and he's like i'm not dying i'm not I leaving saw, um i saw somebody point out that the michaela stuff leads you to wonder whether or not millennia ever, ever had, had free will free will yep ever yep because like he born was born into her it in the womb born into it 
literally sat there and waited for him to return and had nothing else going on until you know dis- until like her, never her, discovering her motivation just turns off and she becomes like a nothing person and like that was, and that wasn't even when he left that was when moog just took him in the egg and pieced like yeah. just he cannot find brother cannot find onesan it obviously sit on ground the and wait context of him being stolen away too because like millennia would have been able to stop moog <laughs> like for sure yes if she can fight radon to stand still then that's that's the tier level mm-hmm. um no it's 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 pretty it's pretty uh i think you have enough there to see that like radon not only did not lose but then fucking held on and just like rotted away to the point where all of his disciples are like man that dude is so cool can one of you put him out of his misery please you know and he's like my horse though and he's like so i don't think he was down with the plan but in the end um you get and like so not down with the plan. no and 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 um the promised consort is not the star scourge you know forcing that soul into that body which also interesting bit um why moog right you have one the fact that moog is this like dedicated loyal brainwashed you know one and we don't know where he would have been. It would it would he have been like Ansbach, or would he have been you know somewhere in between with that with that dedication? But either way, unwilling participant. Well, but- like the the all the blood stuff is a direct result of America turning the Omen like race into a slave like genocide race. Like if she had treated her kids not like shit, Moog wouldn't have gotten all blooded up. Well, there's also the part where the formless mother stepped in, right? And all the outer gods basically do is they find somebody salty enough and go, hey, I can use you. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. Yeah, so... Hey, you what you up to? to? Let me show you some cool shit. You, you want some frenzy flame? The... You want some blood flame? You, you want some golden order? Wealthy. Come over here. Let me fuck with you. Um, I mentioned it, I think, two weeks ago. And I said, like, I didn't... I, I was like, oh, we're going to get to the DLC. I hope we meet some of the other gods mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the outer gods i did not expect to literally encounter all of the outer gods or at the very least the they're in, like most the, the, chosen disciple yeah they're the representations at the very least are in there, um you know? and i get to the end of that and i'm like oh i i'm super strongly feeling very good about my decision to join up with Ronnie and be like, this shit needs to leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of this shit needs to go. No, no more divine influence, please. That's the thing is like, Mikella, when you know he's trying to leave his shackles behind, you're like, that's a noble thing because Ronnie had similar aspirations, right? Not being chained to your fate is a is a, 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 a destiny, and not being chained to destiny is something that everybody can find no, nobility in. But then when the answer is, um, now the path is clear for us to rule. <laughs> you know, you're like, ah, damn it, Mickey. All right, well, you gotta go. Um, and uh, no, I was just gonna say that the um, uh, uh, with Moog, the fact that he's a fucking omen means that he's graceless. Means that his corpse doesn't go back to the Earth Tree. Means that that's the strongest body that didn't disappear. To put Radon's yeah. body soul Available, into, yeah. you know, and that that lines up so perfectly because Margaret would have been a decent choice as well, but oh, absolutely, but he's so how self hating that he was given grace at the end, you know. So like even that omen that that the, it, that was around like was like nah that went the archery way as well. So he had mm. to use the only cold body that he could, which happened to be one that was one of his disciples, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really interesting and, and good lore bits there. Um, you know, and the, not to mention all the, the, the America town stuff. Um, and um, just in terms of like, you know, from soft fucking visual, shout outs to the big badass knight with the swords that you want to fight, but like just a like almost like Buddhist god hanging off the shoulders with the hand up. You know, and then the cape of hair. It's a really cool um, Yeah, he's just like Danny Chill, like the whole time. Absolutely. And like, here we are, 
the final boss is gay marriage and we need to defeat it <laughs> you know and if you turn uh, your, you turn your back on it for too long and that shit goes to space and comes nuking back down to the ground <laughs> i think what's really interesting is that i think i i can't remember when this was but i feel like it was when i was closing in on the end of elden ring and you had not started it yet and i said to you i feel like because i had just gotten through like the invisible platform section in the north where you're doing like corridor running on invisible platforms after you fall on off the the edge and i'm like i feel like this game is every trick they ever learned and every concept they've ever done being remixed and improved and i look at uh radon and mikola and it is like a direct sequel to the lothric princes from dark souls 3. Mm. i don't know if you remember those guys Not but much. the larry he was the guy that was on his knees and then his little brother would hang off his neck just like mikola does but their thing was that they would teleport around oh yes 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 the weak brother and the yes 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 yeah and it's a right. direct sequel right, to that right 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 yeah that's true that's true i love that fight i think that fight's great um okay right yeah although again just this one um it, yeah, they're it, like we got another one in us we Come got on. another yeah <laughs> this time the brothers kiss <laughs> this time gay marriage casts meteor <laughs> like let's go <laughs> oh man and uh yeah no that's great and, and i do like it's, it is pretty nice too that's like okay Aunt's box in it because it's just like sir radan Get the fuck out of my master's body. What the fuck? It's nice to see you, but come on, you know? And he's everything uh, you wanted um, Gideon the All-Knowing to be, you know? I'm like, oh, you're the cool old guy. Fuck him. I wanted you to be there at the, at the fucking table. Um, and Theo, you know, for all the, like, non-help he's, he's adding, he's basically there because, like, Trina is like, yeah, could you go kill me for me? Thanks. You know, and you're like, okay, fair enough. He's got his reasons too, and it's it's a it's a um, it's a cool bit because they make it pat you make it past the the the, the Mickey Mania, you know, the Michelomania mm -hmm. fight and all that, and you just get that nice little like uh, uh, square off with all the NPCs you've met throughout this 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 thing. I was expecting to fight them, but I was expecting a series of summon one-on-ones. I didn't I, know it was going to be just the fucking I don't the know KOF I expected, battle. But I did not expect a massive two-sided fight. Mm. Everyone coming in in their right time and place. It's like, literally Royal Rumble. Like, the countdown timer goes brr, and then Dane! It's Dry Leaf Dane coming in! Ta 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 <laughs> You know? It was great. Um, fantastic ending. Really hype um, finale to a really long piece of DLC. Um, yeah. Kind of crazy how big that DLC is. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, um, unreasonably so. And not the like it costs fifty three dollars, so it's a full game, it's a game. But it is a full game. It's a game. You know, I, I would one like limb grave. It's well, one a, a one limb grave sized game. Well, how when you put it side by side, land and boss fight to boss fight, like pound for pound. When you compare it pound for pound with Demon Souls, what does it bigger than Demon Souls by how many margins? Bigger than Demon Souls, right? That's the question. Like, is it is it two point five? Is it is it two demons? Yeah. You know, it's a fucking full game. Yeah, it's it's enormous. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't think as well that should be the standard, and I don't think that should be expected every time. And I don't. Yeah. Want so they, to have the, to now that. that you've gotten to the very end, and you see the, that interview where they said, "We think the next game is going to be smaller than Elden Ring because we don't think we can do a game that big again." And I'm like, "I I don't think you can." Nope. Nope. You know, you I... just you just did Armored Core. I, no one had any problems with that. That was fine. Just you can do um, that if you need to. Also, I don't want. <laughs> another game that is this this size again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah i i and i was kind of describe describing a little bit how you know we, over the years we've discussed the part where people are like games have they ask you for the most unreasonable amount 
of of like assets put into them compared to any other medium um mm -hmm. and they ask you for the a volume that is just like not reasonable at all by any other uh medium's comparison metric but the like the ask for the, the 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 ask ratio to the price point for like the amount of voice acting the amount of writing the amount of game design level, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. even for a FromSoft where you're like well you're you guys are on top of the industry and you're doing really well because everyone loves what you make and it sells really well it's like yeah but that should not set a bar nor be considered a, a reasonable standard like this should not be the norm <laughs> it's just it's just too much please 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 scale it back for your own sakes you you, know? you have to because um, like. If this had been anything other than a slam dunk, oh, I'd well, be could, in trouble. And and you and you just you don't want this the the team cherry problem, you know, we, which we've discussed mm -hmm. ad nauseum at this point, right? Like, there's such a there's such a thing where you're like, yeah, I want my game to be able to last me as many months as it can, especially if I'm like, look, I can only afford to buy one game, you know, for a while. I just want to get the most game out of it, and I, that's very mm -hmm. understandable. But it's like now we're hitting the other end of the threshold where you're like, this just doesn't make any kind of sustainable sense. That being said, excellent job. Very good job. Good, good job. The, uh, the only problem I have with the DLC now is that I don't think the DLC is particularly well balanced for sprinting to the DLC. Mm. In fact, I think it's incredibly poorly balanced for sprinting the DLC. How fast can you kill Mogwin? Yeah, but you don't forget the the Estus fragments, man, and you know, like, and the 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 fucking Titanite upgrades, mm. like to be able to buy that shit. Uh, I just did that stuff, and it still took me like 15, 20 hours to just get the materials. Like, I would actually prefer like the way that I don't. You never played witcher 3 but when those dlcs came out just in case they're like do you just want to play the dlc and you go yeah and then you would hit yes and then they would give you a uh, appropriately leveled Geralt with appropriate gear that you could just roll into and just do the uh, dlc um... and i kind of want i kind of want that for for erd tree because i would rather play erd tree again right now than elden ring Oh, yeah, it's it's if you have to draw a line and say, no, it's always a separate section and it can't meet up with the other. Uh, yeah, I think I mean, the benefits probably worth it, but starting you not with your own save file is it, it doesn't feel good. You know, mm -hmm. the ability to load in your own progress and pick up right where you were with your character is huge. Taking that away is not great. Um, I don't know if that would be worth it for most people, but at the very least, I don't think, I think everyone is super down with the like title screen, select your, yeah, select your DLC campaign thing, you know? Um, so there you go. That's, that is the second end of Elden you, Ring. I will say though, for your own edification and maybe for like a one minute thing next week, go back and find what that shit looked like. Hmm. Or you know, I can just send you a clip on the break. Uh, yeah, because it's 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 absurd how in, impossible to see it is. Yeah, I, I did my little lore recap at the end of the episode too. Like I did a proper like you know um, dress down of like everything we learned uh, in, in the effect of things. And some people were saying like, oh, go back and check out the, the Vati videos on them just for full clarification. And so yeah, that might be a, a decent time to also check out that stuff too. You know.